All right, I'm gonna attempt to make a video explaining how I bled the air out of my ABS module. This is a 93S10 Blazer 4x4, and this is the Kelsey Hayes four wall system. Um, it's like one of probably three different, three or four different ABS systems in these 90s GM trucks. But yeah, if your ABS module looks like that, then you've got the Kelsey Hayes four wall. Um, this one's kind of a bitch because if you don't service it in a certain exact procedure, uh, you'll just be having constant problems with it. So I'll actually post a link in the description here to this video that I found an article online. It was super helpful. It explains everything about how the Kelsey Hayes four wall works and also has the service procedure in there as well. So um yeah i'll post the link to that and it pretty much without that i wouldn't have been able to figure this out so props to whoever wrote that article because that was pretty much saved my abs on this truck um what was going on with it was uh i had the anti-lock warning light and the brake warning light and i also had a super stiff pedal and it just kind of felt like i didn't have all my brakes there so what ended up being was this module had air trapped in it. And apparently on these, when you got air trapped in the system in here, there's some sort of safety shutoff valve that disables the ABS. So I was throwing ABS codes left and right. Um, and yeah, I just, I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. Finally figured it out. It was just air trapped in the system up here. Um, so yeah, anyways, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and bleed all four wheel cylinders in the correct order. So rear passenger, rear driver, front passenger, front driver. Um, and then once you do that, you can go ahead and bleed this module. Um, you'll probably wanna take the washer fluid reservoir out because there's a accumulator valve back here that you have to get to. Um, but what you're gonna do is there's a bolt on either side here, a 10 millimeter. You're gonna loosen those. Don't take them all the way out, just loosen them. So there's one on this side as well. And then once you loosen those, you'll go ahead and open these. These are called the high pressure accumulator valves. Um, there's also one on each side in the back here. General Motors actually has a special tool for this that's supposed to, um, hold these valves open you can purchase it for like 50 bucks i think on amazon but i went ahead and just fabricated one out of a piece of square tubing and uh welded a, a nut on there and then basically as you tighten this it pushes that pin in and it opens that accumulator valve um, the pin doesn't have to go all the way in. It just has to go maybe a couple millimeters to where it can hold that valve open for you. Um, so don't go torquing this down super hard. Just, you know, basically till you see it just move just a little bit, you should be good to go. Um, once you do that, you can go ahead and you can bleed this just like you would bleed your wheel cylinders. Um, except your bleeder screws are right here and there's two of them here. So if I had to guess, I'm guessing probably one of them's for the front brakes and one of them's for the rear brakes. I think that's how these, uh, modules work. Um, but yeah, you just bleed those like you normally would. I think in that article, it's recommended that you vacuum bleed them, but I just, I just did the old school pedal bleed and I got this little $10 kit from AutoZone and I did it that way and it seemed to work pretty good. Um, on mine, I had a shit ton of air come out of this side and almost no air come out of this side. But anyway, that fixed my problem. I've got no lights on the dash and as far as I can tell, I've got working ABS again. So yeah, hopefully that will help you guys. And if you got any questions, let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.